Once you sign into Lucidchart with your Penn State email as your username and your course name and number as password, you will see that your user you will see your username in the upper right hand corner. Right next to it is a link to documents. Selecting this documents link will open the document screen that you're currently that's currently displaying. Any documents that I have saved and any documents that another team member shared with me will display here. So if it's your first time logging in, it's going to be blank. All right, to start a new document, select the orange Create button in the left-hand column, and it will, and then select New Document. Uh, the, you want the blank whiteboard. Now enter the name for your map. Lucid Chart application has opened. So three sections of the window are really important. On the left is the shape library. Here you will find a bunch of different shapes and you can even use images. Uh, there are different text features and even notes that you can add. In the middle is your workspace. And then on the right, the one feature that you will find most helpful, or at least I find most helpful, is the navigator. What this does is allow you to see where you are working in the overall workspace. So as you work mapping complex concepts, you may find that you need to use more of the workspace than is visible in your computer screen. So with this nav navigator, you can toggle the workspace away from a full area to one that has some more space for you to work in. Okay, let's build a concept map. Let's select one shape, and recalling your origin of life unit, you might remember prokaryotic. So let's grab another shape for eukaryotic. What about these two terms? Let's further define these terms and choose a different shape to signify characteristics of these terms. So prokaryotic are unicellular. So we're going to select this and put it on here. And eukaryotic are multicellular. Now just having these separate doesn't do anything for us. We want to connect the main topic to its respective characteristics and we'll create links by clicking on the anchor in the shape, so in the square shape, and simply just drawing the line to the next shape to define a relationship between the two. Now that we've done that, let's further define the terms prokaryotic are bacteria, whereas eukaryotic are plants and animals. I'm just going to move the animals by clicking in the center of the shape and dragging it over. And some more, prokaryotic are generally smaller than the larger eukaryotic. Let me close this navigator to have some more room to work. One of the purposes of using concept mapping is to be able to see the relationships between biological components. The way that these two terms are related are the fact that they are both types of cells. So let's add that as our main idea and then connect the two types of cells. Okay, you can see here that we've organized the information by shape, but another way that you can organize the information in Lucidchart, or any concept map for that matter, is through the use of color. So select the shape and go up to the navigation bar. This selects and change the type of color of the text. Here we can change um, the line color, and then finally we can change the fill color. You do have many in your class who are already familiar with using Lucidchart, so if you get stuck, ask them. I am also available if you have any questions, and you're certainly welcome to come and use the Media Commons computers because the screens are so much bigger, so you'll be able to see a bigger portion of your map as you're working on it. So you can see here I've just constructed a concept map with my own contact information. When you are finished with your map, go up to the File menu and Save. Then Download as a PDF. You will then upload the P this PDF into the Angel Dropbox. After you finish this first map, a comparison or sample map will become available in Angel. So take a look at this sample and ask yourself, is there anything in the sample that helps you understand the topic better? Perhaps there's an important detail that you forgot or the sample shows the topics are connected uh, that help you understand it better. So go back into Lucidchart, make a couple of changes based on your comparisons, but just one note. You don't need to change your map to be exactly as the sample. When you're finished making changes, then save the map and download the PDF, and then submit this second version to the Dropbox. Now only you can answer this question. How does this concept mapping assignment 
help you prepare for the test. Our hope is that it will be beneficial.